Welcome back to Board Game Chat. Here is Angela. <laughs> How are you going? How are you good, good. How are you? Yeah, good. Closing into vacation time. Yoo-hoo! Oh, yes. Oh, exciting. I'm so excited about the Star Cruise. You've no idea. It's crazy. Yeah. It, it, it's um, too bad that we're going to meet, the, the. I think, the day before. We have scheduled to meet the day before you go or a, a couple days before you go. I wish I was meeting you after when you can have come back so you can tell yeah. me all about it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you'll hear all about it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I think we should do like a chat where we talk about your experience at the Star Cruiser. I'll interview you. <laughs> oh, that'd be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below if you like to hear about it. I know I, I'm dying to hear about the Star Cruiser. People will be but like, today, no, not vacation stories. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but those are the best stories. Uh, but before we get to vacation, today we're going to talk about strange things that we have in our collection. So uh, I've, uh, we've gathered a couple of things that are out of the ordinary. Uh, at least we find them out of the ordinary. Maybe you have 20 of them. <laughs> but um, yeah, for me, there were weird finds or weird things that, um, you know, you don't, you don't, you, you, they're not very like popular or very well known. Or, so that's what I've got. And that's what Angela's got. We're both going to share our stuff. So you stay tuned because you're going to hear about a lot of really weird things. <laughs> yeah. I hope, hopefully I haven't cheated. I hope people don't feel let down by what I've got, but I have tried. So did I, so did I. But before we start, uh, we want to congratulate everybody that uh, guessed our game last week, which was... It was Thunderbirds, and uh, over on my channel, I think Kabuki Kid got it again. Of course, she's uh, the encyclopedia of gaming, and I think <laughs> Dave from Nerds of Wisdom also got it. So, congratulations to all who, and thank you for playing. Also, that that means yeah. so much to us. Because uh, imagine if we played and nobody tried to like guess that piece. So oh, it'd be <laughs> sad, wouldn't it? Right, and we're here trying yeah. to think of. Uh, and not, uh, other things that we can do. And stay tuned because we do have a game later today. Uh, and so I'll, I'll show you later what it is. We'll show you later what it is. But let's get started. Should I go first or you want to go first? You go first. I'm interested to see what you've got. <laughs> okay, I go first. So my first one, uh, I'm going to make it board game related. <laughs> um, it's actually uh, something that I got uh, related to Magic the Gathering. So let me show you first, and then I'll tell you all about it. Uh, oof, camera. Let's see. There it is. Oh, is that special? That is it. Oh, someone riding a shark? Is that what that yes. is? To me, that's actually very special. So this is a shark token, but it's a special shark token because this guy riding the shark is Covert Go Blue. And Covert Go Blue... <laughs> is a guy that makes videos on YouTube uh, playing magic. And I love him. He actually puts oh, me to sleep. I, I think I've, him. Yeah. I've mentioned him before. Uh, and uh, I think it was Cool Stuff. Cool Stuff sponsors him. So you could, uh, if you bought games or something, uh, Cool Stuff, they will send you uh, the free token. And I was like, what can I buy? I just, I just, I'm just doing it for the free token. Uh, so yeah, so I have him. Actually, I have him on my desk, uh, like next to my work desk all the time. So he's right there keeping me company. That's uh, my first strange thing in my collection. <laughs> oh, that's that's really cool. Yeah, I'm not sure mine are going to live up to this. But <laughs> I started with the good one. How about that? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I will start with my good one that I okay. don't think many people have because you can only get it if you own a retail store. Um, but I was very lucky. I have got the game night kit for uh, Potion Explosion. Ooh. And that's basically just a fancy way of saying it's got everything if you're arranging um, a potion explosion game night. So it's got, you can put up little posters when you're, when you're playing, you get a few of those, you get um, lots of potions and you get these really nice, I'll put up pictures obviously, you get these really nice acrylic tokens for the game as well. And also you get really nice play mats for everybody. So yeah, that was that's a nice one that I managed to swindle my way. <laughs> yeah, game night kit. That's pretty cool, actually. And I I, I remember I, I played that game. That's a that's a nice game too. So great oh. that you have. Yeah. 
cool. Hey, you have you. I you know I was so excited about this one. I was like, oh, because I know how cool you are. So I wanted to see what cool stuff, what you thought was cool in your collection. Well, that's, that's the one. best one. That's the best one I've got. <laughs> it's okay. That's not true. Stay tuned so you so you see more. So uh, next up, let's see. Uh, let's let's do one Star Wars. How about that? Uh, I have this little music box, and when you open it up, it says, may the force be with you, and oh. let me see if I can do this, let me see if I can do it. Yeah! Very cool! I love my little box, yeah, and it's always on my shelf back there. It's got like a Yoda. It's really cool. I think it, it, it's uh, handmade, so it's super nice. <laughs> oh, that is cool. Yeah, well, yeah. Star Wars fan, you know. <laughs> oh, I'm wondering now whether I should mention things that aren't board gaming that might be more exciting for people because my board gaming ones are a bit... <laughs> hey, it's up to you, but you're next. <laughs> All right. Pleasure. And next. So my next one was a bit of a cheat. I've got For Sale, right, which is a really cool little game. Mm -hmm. um, but it doesn't come with little shields. So okay. I think no one else will have these because I made little shields that you can... Oh, my gosh. Really yeah, that is, that is cheating because you're awesome making stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I figured no one else would have it, so that's why it's um on this list. Yeah. Very cool. <laughs> Okay, so that was some board game. So let me bring something board game related. So I have uh, this little cute thing. It is, let me see, this way. Ah. It's a die, <laughs> but it's like an emoji dies. So uh, there's, there's Mr. Matt face <laughs> and Mr. Happy face. So, I mean, I don't really use it, but I think it's so clever that they just fill it up with emojis then, man. And I love dice. I'm a board gamer. So, yep, that's that's my dice. <laughs> cool, though. You could use that if you were like, if you were role playing and you wanted to randomize someone's mood. <laughs> right. That's <laughs> true. Like an NPC. Yeah, you could definitely do like an NPC mood, like how, eh, true. Yeah, I've, I, I've only gotten into D&D, &D, like actually playing D&D &D, uh, recently, but that's a great idea. I'm gonna I'm gonna use it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, that's a good one. Um, mm -hmm. oh, I've cheated again, though, Annabelle, because I've, I thought it was supposed to be all board gaming, right? So I've grabbed uh, board gaming things. So my display meeples that I make. Oh, yes, I've got up there. Um, no one else has got these because they're all one of a kind. <laughs> that's right. That's right, and they're awesome. I love those. I remember asking you about those a long time ago. Um, they're, they're they're super cool and that you have a video of those right of some of them I have a video of how to make it yeah if, if anyone wants to make them yeah <laughs> i mean <laughs> if anybody can make them uh let's see uh i'll show you this one how it because you keep showing things that are like related to you so i have this uh I can't wait. here we go me and so this is me <laughs> This is a, a cartoon that I got uh, at a uh, con, at a convention. A lady actually drew me. Uh, I asked her to, you know, make me kind of like an elf with like a cloak and make me like a ranger, like a cool looking character with a crossbow, because crossbow is my weapon of choice. Um, so I, I love it. I, I, it's, it's up there. I don't think that you can see it on the videos because, because it's kind of hidden, but it's, you know, it's, and, and that's when I had short hair, of course, but, <laughs> but uh, I think it was pretty cool. yeah. yeah, there's definitely only one of them. <laughs> only one of them. Yeah, and only one for me. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> One's enough. <laughs> All right. What else you got? Me? Oh, mm -hmm. I'm looking at my list because I, I haven't got a couple because I couldn't get them, uh, but I'll put okay. pictures up. Um, giant Marrakesh. So Marrakesh probably up here somewhere. It's like a super easy entry level board game where you're laying rugs to try and make uh, your rugs take up more area than other players' rugs. And mm -hmm. I just I just like it because it's like you could play it with literally anybody. Everyone gets the mechanic because it's you know it's obvious what you're doing but i had the chance to buy the giant version um okay okay and i Maybe. own that i've never played it because it is genuinely giant 
um, and it wouldn't fit on any table that I've had. So <laughs> I haven't played the giant version, but I've got it as a collectible um, thing just because it's such a cool game. And I'm guessing we have we had pictures while you were talking. So. Up, yes. Very good. <laughs> and I'll put pictures up uh, with the normal version so that you can see. Nice. I'm looking forward to seeing that. But you guys already saw. Probably yeah. really cool. <laughs> All right. Uh, another cool thing that I got. It's a uh, uh, this little dice tower, and, and it's. Uh, it's got bees and this one <laughs> yeah so you put your your dice up there and they come out because you know i like rolling dice this one i actually got at uh, dice tower east it was a gift i was playing with two very nice gentlemen who apparently have a little it's an etsy store or it's i know it's online i have the card somewhere and they just gave it to us for free everybody that was playing got one of these and i thought oh my gosh how cool like this is this is perfect and it's uh, made of wood so it's handmade so it's you know, precious. I love it. I'm keeping this forever. <laughs> well, it's lovely, and the design of it's really nice as well. It looks like you can see the dice when you roll them in there. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You can see them. You can see them go down and everything. Of course, you don't. You won't know what the result is until it's out here. But it's, yeah. it's, they made it look like a beehive. You know, like it's so so clever. Very cool. Oh, that is nice. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Um, mm -hmm. my other one that I don't have here. I've talked about it before though, so I won't go into it in great detail. Giant Takinoko, uh, giant Chakin Takinoko chibis I've also got, and I've also got the giant uh, chibi figures as well. In and again, videos. I've never played it. It's too, it's too big. <laughs> but it's so cool. I've, I know I've seen, I've seen that one. Um, you have a video of it as well, don't you? I have a video of me receiving giant Takinoko. Um, okay. which I was so excited by. I, there's no words. I had looked forward to it for probably two years or something and I'd saved up and mm -hmm. finally bought it and it came in the post and, yeah, I was beside myself. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't believe it's, yeah, it's a good game. I, um, I gave my copy of the, the, the normal one away uh, because the family that I gave it to had uh, younger kids and they love it. And I'm so happy that, you know, it was taken by a family that appreciated it. Yeah. All right. So uh, this is going to be board game related, I swear. <laughs> I have this, which I don't even know if anybody has ever heard of this game before. <laughs> I have so, heard of it, but I, I wanted it and I couldn't find it. So bravo to you for um, having it. I actually got that at a garage sale. Somebody was either moving or trying to uh, do what you were doing, milling down their collection. And I saw it and I, like, and I had just finished watching the show and I love that show. If you haven't watched Her From Black, go watch it. It's awesome. Uh, it's the girl from She-Hulk. And in that, in that one, she plays the clones. So she plays multiple characters and she does an amazing job. Um, and But the, I have not played it yet. Can you believe it? Me, I haven't played it. Uh, and the only reason why I haven't played it is because it's three to five players. Oh, it's, a, it's a higher dreaded, count. Dreaded three. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The dreaded three. <laughs> oh, but one well. day. Yeah. yeah, that's a good one. I like that because you know I'm a huge fan of that show as well. Yes, 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 yes. It's a good show. It really is. Go yeah. watch it. After we're done here, go watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd gladly watch it again. Right. All right. So, that's on my list. Um, what else is that? You know what? I should have brought the non-gaming stuff through, but the only thing I've, I've brought through is this. It's a, bit, it's a bit strange. It's not board gaming related other than I do have the board game um, up there from the show. Battlestar Galactica, and I've got Adama's medal Ooh, very nice yeah it's a nice little collectible when i sold all of my um collectibles before moving here i mean i had so many the shelves were mobbed with things i kept that one i couldn't bear to let it go it's lovely it's all embossed on the back because i love that show so good another great show so now you have two shows to watch you have uh, orphan black <laughs> battles like i like to get and here comes one more because my Ooh. next one is my collection that i found of comic books uh. um, one of my <laughs> favorite shows actually if it's not my favorite show one on earth and i got a bunch let's see i have that one which you know, has one on face on it but i have this one and i have 
the other one and another one on the herb and i i just when i saw that they were comics based on the show a lot of them have even the characters from the show so because um it also has the beginnings of when on art before even the show even started which is so cool it's another great show cowboy sci-fi ish uh go watch that one as well <laughs> yeah i didn't even know there were comics for that i didn't even know either until i found them and i read them all and they were so cool yeah. and i'm not a very uh, like i'm not a fan of comics like i don't collect a lot of comics uh, I've never been able, I really want to get into a comic. If you guys know of a good comic book that I can read, I'd love to get into a comic book series, but I've tried like the regular ones on Marvel and the Star Wars and I was just not, the only one that kind of grasped my attention was Pathfinder, but it was so hard to find, even though it's Pathfinder, <laughs> <laughs> um, that I just kind of stopped and I never went back to it. Oh, I'll ask my daughter, she collects comics. She's got she thousands of them. Um, and she's always telling me, you should read this series of whatever, whatever one it is. And I just don't have the time. The only comics that I own are Elf Quest. I've got all of those packed away somewhere from the 80s. And Legend of Korra, which I love based on the TV show. Which you yeah. have to watch that. Watch that. <laughs> yeah, watch that. There's another one. <laughs> all right very cool what else do you have another show right. for us? i should have brought these through because i could have actually i could have actually brought them through but i didn't i've got a cylon toaster which is <laughs> funny right it's a toaster and when you toast things in, i've never toasted anything in it but apparently when you toast things in it it pops out with the cylon on the toast Nice. And it says Battlestar Galactica on the side of the toaster. I'll, I'll put up pictures, obviously. But that's a funny thing just because it's a funny tie-in, right? It's an official um, Cylon toaster. <laughs> <laughs> so all, all your toasts are silence. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Um, well, that would bring me to my last one, which I don't have here because it's actually my whole house. Uh, <laughs> so my whole house is weird and here's a secret for you guys there is actually a video on youtube where i show my house my entire house uh, bathrooms included so you can see how uh star wars have just completely taken over my house um i won't tell you where it is you have to find it it was in another channel that i used to have but it's out there somewhere so if you want to go find it go find it i think i called it uh, Star Wars home or some something oh, something like that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you can all see my house. You can all you're all welcome to come visit me here in Florida. <laughs> yeah, I've done house tours as well on our family channel, um, but they're not as exciting as that. They're just literally, this is the new house we bought. Oh, this is the house that we're buying now. <laughs> Well, I, I did it because, well, first of all, because I wanted to show show the house because it really is like, I'm sorry, like if, you, if you're a, if you're a regular person that doesn't care about Star Wars, then you, you're like, what is this? Like what child, what child lives here? But if you're actually, if you know, if you like the movies, then you'd be like, wow, this is like uh, Star Wars paradise, you know, like I have a toaster, a Darth Vader toaster that toasts your bread and it says star wars on it so so yes uh plus i have a waffle that that's a yes. Lynn waffle maker i have all of that stuff it's all over the place the only reason why i didn't bring the video to meeple village is because when i record that was like the first video i ever recorded on that channel and i didn't have a mic so the audio is awful um the so i i didn't think it was to the quality of the videos that i post on meeple village so i never i never brought it over um but if i get a lot of requests maybe i will <laughs> yeah i think people would enjoy that people love having a nosy through other people's houses don't you think yeah yeah and yeah I just, where someone that you watch lives that's why right. i did, um in my house tours so that people could see i'm normal <laughs> <laughs> I'm not normal though. <laughs> if you watch the video, you would not think I'm normal. <laughs> but yeah, it's like how I enjoyed your uh, videos on the Tesla. If you guys haven't watched those, what's the name of the channel, Angela? Oh, um, Tesla Scozzies. We really, they're just personal videos of us getting the, our dream car. So they're yeah. probably a bit boring. We haven't updated it or anything since we got they're it. They're not boring at all. Still I love it. But we don't yeah. like Elon. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. And Tracy's yeah. like, oh, maybe I should look at another car. I'm like, don't be silly. <laughs> That's well, how much know, I don't like it. To be like honest, it. I love your Tesla, but I'm I'm gonna be honest, I super loved your other car. The uh, Iron oh. Man. Oh my gosh, that was so cool. When I saw that car, I'm like, oh that Tesla's gonna be ridiculously awesome to beat this car. <laughs> Yeah, that was a cool car, but I've got to be honest with you, before we sold that to get the Tesla, I was like so sad and I've not given it a thought <laughs> since okay. having the, the Tesla. It's such a good car. Good. Okay, good. If you're happy, that's all that matters. But they were both, they're both really cool cars. Both really cool cars. I can see how Tracy, uh, Tracy's uh, love for cars shines through yeah. in those two. <laughs> yeah, she definitely is the car person for sure. So do you have anything else for our weird yeah. night? Other weird thing. I did have, I was going to show you my Borg teddy bear, uh, but I, I can't find it. But it's a teddy bear that I bought. Um, I think I got it in Las Vegas. There was a Star Trek like a some kind of experience that was in one of the hotels. So it was really cool. Uh, it had Quark's bar in there. You could go in and get your lunch and there were like Ferengi in there. It had like a, a ride in there where you could go and aliens had jumped on board or something. I can't even remember. But I bought this teddy bear and it's a Borg and I just, I just love it. I've kept it even when I, as I say, when I sold all of my collectibles, I had to keep this teddy bear. Well, I hope you find it so that you can show us some. I know it's around because my granddaughter, I had them on the weekend. They were here and she came out with it in her hand at one point. So I'm wondering if it's still here. <laughs> it might not be. It might be at your granddaughter's house. <laughs> like, what um, is this? Hmm. Yeah. That's, that's pretty cool. Uh, well, I'm done with mine. Do you have something else you want to share? Should we do game time? Let's do game time. Let's do game time. You sure you don't have anything else? You need that well. I don't want to. Oh, I've got loads of weird <laughs> collectible things that I could probably waffle about, but no, let's do game time. <laughs> you, you, you're gonna have to do a house tour then, like, uh, like the one I did. <laughs> yes. Uh, all right, so let's play a game, guys. So because we were talking about weird things in our collections, I decided to show a weird component. See if you can match it to the game that it's from. I I think if you play this game, you probably know which one it is. So here it is. Let's see. What game is this from? And I'll show you the back, which I shouldn't, because I'll give you more clues, but there it is. Okay. If you know okay. what game that's from. I don't know what it's from. You don't know? Yeah, I, I, will fi I figure you wouldn't know. <laughs> But I'm sure there's somebody out there that knows because this is a oh, popular. If game. you know, you know. That's you know, you know. an unusual piece for sure. Yes, definitely. And I, I gotta say, that one's the plastic, which I think is like a upgraded, but it looks exactly like the cardboard one. So, if if you know, you know. <laughs> Yeah. Let us know what else you'd like to uh, for us to talk about. Let us know if you want to hear all about Angela's vacation like I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd love um, to talk about it. <laughs> I'm great. so excited. Yes, I'm excited too. I'm excited that you're coming. I'm excited to meet you. I'm excited to meet the family. It's going to be great. And oh. for all you guys uh, out there, Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for joining us. We so appreciate it. Oh, and we uh, we're going to see you guys when Angela gets back from her awesome vacation. Yeah. Awesome. Have a good night or good day. And may you play more games. <laughs> <laughs>